Y'all. I thought I had to go to the damn emergency room. That's how, first of all, I was about to ride high to the hospital, y'all. Y'all, riding high. Oh, riding high. I want to give a shout out to all of y'all. Um, <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I want to give a shout out to all of y'all wig wearers out there. Y'all, I don't know if y'all go through this, but this is just how sensitive my damn body is. I was hurting the bad. Y'all can see with all the fishing and stuff in the other video. And I was like, what the fuck? When the man came, big daddy rubbed me down and stuff. He's like, what you do? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, my, I feel like somebody drilling in my neck. My whole back. Everything was just tight. I got in my recliner and recliner all the way back. And I'm like, man, something ain't right. I just started digging and feeling. Something just told me, take out that damn weed. Because I had on... This damn pink ass wig cap, which you know, I thought had a lot of room in it. You know, don't look tight or whatever. So I got a black one, but I'm like, you know what? You know, this one like it stretched out more. So I had this on. <laughs> then I had the wig. That's a half wig I made. I keep a scarf on because I didn't put no cones in it and stuff. It was the front of it, I ain't, I ain't done. So that was a half wig. So I had that on. So I, had it glued onto a stocking cast, so I had both of them damn things on, and they was in my neck. It didn't feel tight. I mean, you know, it wasn't to the point where, ooh, it's, I can feel it digging, but that shit was affecting my neck. My neck is swollen right now. Probably can't see it. But, <laughs> I'm over there drinking, like, what the fuck? I snatched that wig out of y'all, and I immediately felt relief. I'm like, well, I'll be damned. So, if y'all going through any kind of pain like that, check your wig hair. I don't know. But yeah, I was like about to cry. So in case you're wondering, yeah, I do have hair under this damn hat. Um, yeah, I got hair. Nappy as hair, but I got all my edges and stuff. Yeah, I got hair. So, um, <laughs> yeah, y'all. Next time I color my hair, y'all tell me, Kane, you remember last time? Cause, yeah, I had to reverse that shit quick because I started to see a little breakage. So I had to do the little Afoji treatment and stuff to save my edges and stuff. But yeah, it's growing back as you can see. Really, really nice. I'm waiting for them to, um, I'm waiting for the grow out some more so I can get some braids. I want some braids for the summer. I know somebody can say they can catch it now. They probably can, but I don't want all my brain matter and stuff pulled out because they're always going to be pulling tight. So I'm just wait. I'm going to wait till I get, you know, a good, good length. I don't want no braids for Essence. I'm, I'm going to give me a bob for Essence. So speaking of Essence, this was going on. Yeah, y'all, I'm about to cry. I was fucking hurt. But anyway, y'all, I just want to come back and just talk because I'm getting ready to, you know, go in the man cave and chill and stuff. My son is here, so we talking. And, um... I said I was going to come back with a video, so I'm back. But I want to um, answer one question really fast. But um, let's just talk about me for um, really quick. So, like I said before, I am going to Essence. Because ain't no guarantee. I'm, you know, I'm winning everything. So, I went ahead and, you know, booked the room. You know, I, I, I don't want to say right now, you know, where I'm staying. Because you know how folks are. Trying to, you know, might trying to do some. Well, anyway, I'll let y'all know that on where I'm staying. A couple of people know. But I will be in Essence, y'all. Me and my husband. I don't think Lauren look at my videos, but we taking her too, y'all. It's going to be a, yeah. I'm going to take Lauren because her birthday is in um, July. So, last time we left her here, and um, we're not used to leaving her, you know, that long. Because we're going to be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and leave Sunday. So, me and my husband talked about it, and then um, we're going to take her. She don't know it yet, yet so she don't tell her. So, we're going to take her. So um, I can't wait. I I I I'm, I'm I I can't wait. I'm ready. So, essence, if you're going or whatever, we gonna we all gonna meet up. You know, everybody chime in or whatever. We are gonna get it. You know, we, we got into you like we all gonna meet up. All of us, YouTube divas and everybody, we just gonna have a good time. We are gonna have a good time. And um, 
We will have a good time. We will have a good time. <laughs> I, I, I told my husband, I'll be messing with him. I'm like, you ain't. I said, I don't want you to go. I said, it's going to be a, a girl thing. I'm, I'm going to go by myself. Now nah, I'm coming. I'm going. All he want to do is just lay in the room, in the hotel room, and don't do nothing. Because last year, he was glad as hell Um, Tina was there because I was, you know, we was together, and he was glad. Like, bye. You know, but he was like, can you come? I'm like, I don't know. But he was happy as hell that uh, he had to do nothing but lay in the room. So, yeah. Of course, places I, I'm I'm going to be going, you know, with no kids allowed or whatever. Of course, knowing to be there with her dad in the hotel room. But, yeah, I can't wait, y'all. We're going to have some fun. So, yeah, let's get ready. And um, thank you, Big Daddy. Big Daddy Kane, he got my, um, he bought me a ticket for um, Oprah. Super excited about that. Y'all know I couldn't let Oprah pass. Houston, for real. Coming to Houston. I mean, I went to um Chicago before. Took a picture in front of the Oprah sign. I mean, I ain't going to the studio and all that stuff, but got a picture. When my son was stationed in um in, in the um Chicago, the Navy Pier. We went, we went to visit the Navy Pier and all that stuff. So I do have a, a photo in front of the sign. But I, yeah, I'm like Oprah, Hugh, somebody, like, baby, make it happen. I want to go. So I didn't know about the early bird sale, so I had to pay the um. <clears throat> Excuse me. I paid. Well, he paid. He paid the um price for one ticket, and that gets you into both days because it's Friday and Saturday here in Houston. It's like yeah, two day two day event. Now, and um he paid the extra eight dollars insurance. Well, I ordered out of his out of his bank for it, but yeah, he paid for it. Thank you, big daddy. And you know when you're married and stuff, it's like you know well, how he paid for it. Like, ain't, ain't, don't y'all you know ain't y'all money together? Yeah, it is, but I, I had the money to pay for it myself. Don't tell him, because I'm going to go shopping with my money. So, he paid for it. Yeah. So, uh, I got the $8 insurance. Well, you know, in case anything happened, that I mean, I'm sick in the hospital or whatever, and just can't go, I get the money back. But it has to be like an act of God. So, in October. It, October's a long, long way away. So, I went ahead and got this. So, I'm excited about that. Oprah. In Houston, so I can't. I'm like, man, look, I can't let that pass up. And what I did was, I went and ordered them. And of course, the only thing they had left over was like the nosebleed. They were 199 a piece, and like that was the cheapest one. They got them for like 600 dollars for the VIP on the floor and all that. I'm like, no, nah, nosebleed is fine. But, but I thought about. I'm like, look, all them damn stairs. So. I had to wait until they opened. I had to call the number that's on the Opus website. And I got me a handicapped seat. Yeah. Because I can be climbing those stairs and getting up and down for people and stuff that come in late. So I'm excited about this. So if you're going to the Oprah, you know, we go, we are going to meet up too. If anybody else watching this video that's going, we're going to meet up there and take pictures and have drinks and stuff. So, yeah. So this something um to look forward to this video is all over the place but anyway yeah that's coming up um what else what else what else what else um y'all yeah i just feel so much better y'all get a damn weird cap both of them was killing my neck but anyway yeah y'all live your life live your life make it happen plan budget make this shit happen 199 plus test plus, plus the eight dollars insurance like 217 total to see oprah it's just something that you know it, i mean you know oprah I, I i should maybe learn a thing or two you know what i'm saying so yeah so anyway back to the video i did on look good friday answering questions and i don't know how to say your name but i i've mentioned your name before F I W I K C, know who you are. Hey girl, hey girl, hey. She said, y'all, that um my son grandmother told him all kind of nasty curse word words the other day. She is my mother-in-law. How do I help him get over it? He is a he is an humble teenager. <laughs> It's not funny, but like I said in my other video, old people said in their ways. Don't old people think it's okay to curse? 
and they're going to curse no matter what you think. Mother-in-law or not, they old, they they curse. It, do she drink? Cause my, my grandmother used to drink and cuss and stuff. But she still cuss, but she don't drink anymore. But you know how old folks are, you know, if they curse or whatever, that's what they do. They're not going to stop their cursing just because the grandson come over. Even though they should, but they're not. You know, I curse. I don't know. I, my, I, my mother don't curse. I didn't grow up here. My mother curse. I grew up here. My grandmother curse, and my aunties curse. So I don't know where it comes from. But if <laughs> it ain't funny, but I'm just saying, how can you have him get over this? Talk to him. Say, look, Junior. You know, talk to your son. Say, look, Junior. You know your you know your grandma um little cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I don't know. Maybe she take a medication that day, or maybe she need a drink. Or maybe she had too many drinks. We don't. I don't know. You can't do nothing about that, but just tell your grandson, your, your son, look, you know how my dear is, so you know she cursed, so you might not want to go around her on certain days or whatever, or the first of the month, when she have to pay bills and stuff, and you know, if everybody curses when they got to pay bills, so I don't know, I'm just saying. Just, um... I love her. Yes, I do. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. Yeah, the wine is kicking in. I just feel so relaxed now, y'all. That damn wig is off me. Ooh. Anyway, y'all, I know y'all like this girl is crazy. But um, yeah, baby, I'm I, I'm sorry that it happened, but she ain't gonna change. So don't confront her. And be like, well, you so my, my son and you curse in front of him. Don't don't do that. Just tell him, look, overlook her. You know what's right and what's wrong. Don't you repeat what she said. That's the most important thing. Tell him. Don't repeat what she said. You know, if he ain't a cursor or whatever, tell him just like, okay, my dear tripping. So just go ahead on. Okay, y'all. And then mosquito still over there. But yeah, she probably Had a drink or two too many, or probably take a medication that day or something. Somebody probably pissed her off. Head, I don't know. And she a cursor. She gonna always be a cursor. So yeah, don't don't say nothing to her. Just just tell Junior, you know, don't mind my deal, you know, whatever. So shout out to all of you guys that coming on the video. Um, Deb Moore fifty nine. Hey, you always did. I appreciate you. I really appreciate you. I don't know why your comments always need approving. I've added you to my circle. Whatever the hell that is on YouTube, I don't know what's going on, but I always make sure I look for your comments and I can post them with everybody else. So, thank you. Thank you, Miss Cass85, Miss Olivia, thank you for coming in. Oh, she want me to talk about the different types of, of, of abuse. She was saying her ex-husband controlled her financially with money. And she was young. And didn't know any better. So can I talk about the different types of abuse? Um, I don't know. It's physical, which they put their hands on you, and mental abuse. If there's any more, y'all just come in. I don't know financial abuse. I don't know if that's really an abuse. But I used to say I don't understand how a woman could let a man put their fucking hands on them. First of all, this shit hurts. Somebody beating you in your fucking eye, and then you be like, "Well, it was my fault." And that's. That's something that's upstairs they're going through. That's some mental shit. To sit back and let them, a man beat your ass. And you still there. I, I I don't know. I could be wrong, but I, I just think it's something mental. You know, you, you got to... When enough is enough, it's gonna, it's enough is going to be enough when you say it's enough. No matter what nobody do. No matter how much counsel you can go through. Unless you get tired of being beat the fuck up. You're going to still be with that guy. But in case you don't know, this shit ain't normal. That ain't love. Hey, baby, I love you. But I'm sorry, but I grew up seeing my, my dad beating my mom. Okay, well, that was your goddamn mama and your daddy. But I'm not your mama. You got to fucking hit me because your daddy beat the fuck out your mama. Don't, don't let no man tell you that. Well, I, I grew up like Chris Brown. They said he grew up with his daddy beating his mama. So that's why he just lashed out at Rihanna and stuff. It could be, but still. That ain't no excuse. That this fucking shit ain't normal. I love my husband. Dirty boxer draws. 
He said never. He has never, ever, ever put his hands on me. And if he go out there right now and get a piece of drunk and come in here and hit me, I love the fuck out you, nigga, but it's, it's bye. You're not going to hit me. No, no, no. It's not love. And the mental abuse is when they, they play the little mind games, you know, ain't nobody going to love you. You ugly, you sad. They just trying to bring you down so you can feel low about yourself. So you won't move on to the next thing because they know that you deserve somebody better than them. So let no don't let no man or woman, you know, abuse you up mentally, physically, you know, financially or whatever. I always have your own shit. That's what I say. Cause it's, like I said, when you get tired, when, you, when enough is enough. Speaking of enough, that movie Jennifer Lopez was in when she, y'all remember that movie? That was a good ass movie when she went back and beat her husband ass, that his ex, her ex, beat the fuck out of him and stuff. It, it, it's not normal, I'm just gonna put it like that. It, that's not a, a part of love. I don't give a damn how long you've been with somebody, I don't care how much he cried. And baby, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I'm just stressed out. And baby, it's my medication. Stop taking that goddamn medication. If, if that's making you beat your girl up, stop taking that shit. But anyway, I'm sorry, Olivia, but this the only abuse I can I know of. None of it ain't normal. None of it is normal. So I'm in 16 minutes, so um let me refresh it. Like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Just like chocolate ecstasy said on the video. <laughs> Chivalry Chibri is not dead. Our young women need to be taught their self-worth. You are worth more than you would ever know. This video went from essence to... Okay, well I'm going to go y'all. That's it. Y'all know me. I used to see all the time. I, 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 I'm, I'm gone. I'll be back with four more videos. But I don't know. This might be the last one. Let somebody give me a good, good topic to come back and talk about. And I'll come back and talk about it if y'all want me to come back. It's up to y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. All my right, essence, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go.